Welcome distinguished guests, faculty, and graduates to the December 2020 Ivy Tech Central Indiana Virtual Commencement. We are honored to be here to commemorate this very special moment with you and your loved ones. Welcome distinguished guests, faculty, and graduates. Welcome distinguished guests, faculty, and graduates to the December 2020 Ivy Tech Central Indiana Virtual Commencement. We are honored to be here to commemorate this very special moment with you and your loved ones. Throughout the program, we ask that you share the journey you've taken to reach this milestone, including the highlights along the way. We hope you'll join the conversation. Our program will begin momentarily. Thank you to everyone who helps support our graduates in realizing their dreams. My experience as a student was really flexible and I think that's kind of the theme for 2020 is flexibility. So especially in that final semester when everything was chaotic, I think everybody met my expectations if not surpassed them. I'm most proud of being an Ivy Tech student because of being a TRIO student, of being a Bowen Scholar, of being a recipient winner of the Two Oaks Scholarship. Having the leaders, like teachers, professors um, in the areas, classes, um, just communication and always being open to help me um, because I have a lot of questions as a student. It met my expectations as being very grounded since it is a community college, so I got lots of help, especially not only in the ASAP program, but in the main building as well. So I got lots of support and lots of help. I would say that COVID um, brought about a different type of closeness with my classmates. I feel like everybody was kind of latching on to school as this like this like cement solid ground. When everything else was confusing, like they knew homework was going to happen, lectures were going to happen. And so there was this kind of like peacefulness almost about being able to join our discussion boards or our lectures while the rest of the world was, you know, being chaotic outside. COVID really uh, infected me in a lot of ways, um, both negative and positive. Um, negatively, I had some uh, deaths in my family due to that. Positively, um, it really made me reach towards some, towards some resources. Uh, I read more, I uh, I got online more. COVID has impacted uh, my, finan my final um, semester um, a lot. Um, at the beginning of the semester, um, my mom became ill. And then so I was taking care of her and going to school. COVID just kind of hit unexpectedly. Like I kind of remember reading an article about it um the semester before it hit and i was like okay this thing's just gonna blow away in like a month or something and i really wish i didn't say that <laughs> the transition to virtual learning particularly with some of my more complicated classes was was overwhelming um but i think it was handled with a lot of grace and with a lot of poise and even some of my professors who had never taught a virtual class before um still managed to put on a, a really good really good course 2020 is kind of gave me that impression like we're that year of graduates that uh, we strive so hard to get this far, but we're not going to be the year that uh, got forgotten. Other than COVID, we're we're uh, I would say we're the, the year of the students that uh, have a uh, have strived for uh, a big purpose. Thanks to Zoom and the learning center and just them staying on top of helping students. I've been able to be successful and um, just even with them communicating with my professors to let them know that I was trying. I just had this giant going on in my life that I just really just needed a little bit more time. They showed that they cared for us and they wanted us to be healthy. So they advised us and helped us in any way they could despite the distance because you know obviously we couldn't drive down here and ask them for help so they 
set up a line. They're like, if you guys need any support, you guys have any questions, just feel free to call us. So they still showed that they cared for us and wanted us to succeed. What I would say to my fellow graduates is that nothing can take your accomplishment from you. Nobody, nothing, not even a global pandemic. A message I would share with my fellow, uh, fellow classmates that are graduating in 2020. I know the rough, I know the task was hard. Uh, the road wasn't as easy towards the end of it, but that makes us the bigger class. That makes us the strongest class. I would like to say to my fellows, how hard it gets. Uh, you should never give up because the only person that can give up on you is you. I'd say I really love my experience here at Ivy Tech and honestly, I wouldn't trade it for anything. And now, University Chancellor for Central Indiana, Dr. Kathy Lee, will begin the ceremony by introducing Shedrick Whipple and the singing of the national anthem. Please join us in the singing of the national anthem. thanking Shedrick Whipple, one of our very own student service representatives for his wonderful rendition of the national anthem. Welcome to Ivy Tech Community College Indianapolis commencement ceremony for our spring, summer, and fall 2020 grads. I am Dr. Kathy Lee, Chancellor for Ivy Tech Central Indiana. Even though we were not able to be in person, we will be following our traditional commencement ceremony in this virtual format. You may locate the program for this ceremony on www.ivytech.edu backslash indie graduation. Let's be real, this year has been a year like no other, but you did not let it stop you from completing your goal. We are here to celebrate your college graduation. Graduates, you made it. Today is the day you have worked for, graduation day. You, your family, and friends know how hard you have worked to get to this moment. We would now like to recognize our esteemed faculty and staff for the hours and patience and the passion that they have put into preparing each of you for graduation. It is now my pleasure to introduce our president, Dr. Sue Elsperman. Hello, class of 20. Half of all of our faculty and staff at Ivy Tech Community College, congratulations. Today's ceremony is recognition of all the hard work that you've done to make it here. I could not be prouder of the determination and tenacity you have shown. If there is one thing I know about our students, it's how far you are willing to go to make a better future for yourself and your families. The great strides and accomplishments you've made in your time at Ivy Tech have not been easy. 
Many have overcome extreme adversity, working long hours, more recently job losses, financial challenges, caring for children and family members, and yet you are here with us today. We know you didn't do this alone. You were supported by your family, friends, mentors, and Ivy Tech's amazing faculty and staff. Join me in thanking those who have assisted you and countless other students on their way to a brighter future. The leadership team on your campus are your friends and neighbors, and they foster the community in Ivy Tech Community College. Despite the current situation, I hope that you will revel in your academic achievement. We understand the sadness that comes from being unable to celebrate this occasion in person with your peers, friends, and family. Please, do not let the current environment stop you from safely honoring the tremendous job you've done. I also implore you to continue learning beyond today. The growth and development that you've experienced as a student is not over. Life will continue to change and you must choose to constantly adapt with it. As we have seen in this situation, as well as in economic downturns, those who thrive are those who continue to learn, grow, and adapt. And Ivy Tech will be here to continue assisting you with improving your skill set as your career evolves. Thank you for sharing your talent and wisdom with us. Remember, this is your time, but you are not alone. We are cheering you on today and here for you in the future. And we are counting on you to contribute your considerable talent to making our state and your community a great place to live and work. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you, President Elsperman. It is now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Indianapolis City Council President, Vop Olsley. We are proud to welcome our commencement speaker, Indianapolis City Council President, Vop Osley. Chancellor, members of the Board of Trustees and graduates, it is my privilege to offer each of you my congratulations upon completion of your course of study at Ivy Tech. When today's commencement, the service concludes, I hope that you take with you not only proof of your achievement, but the sense of accomplishment and personal pride that comes from working hard for something worthwhile. It is an honor not only to serve as president of the City County Council of Indianapolis, but as counselor for District 11, which is home to the central Indianapolis campus of Ivy Tech. Now, in addition to my congratulations, I wanna offer you a confession. My purpose in addressing you is not confined to well wishes. No, I am speaking to you on behalf of a community that needs you, that needs your skills and expertise, your vision and your vigor. Ivy Tech has become an indispensable partner throughout Central Indiana region and the entire state in the effort to fuel Indiana's economic engine by offering Hoosiers of all backgrounds, accessible and affordable world-class education and adaptive learning. Whether you studied information technology, healthcare, business, supply chain and advanced manufacturing, or any of the dozens of other programs available at Ivy Tech, I want you to know that the government and business leaders of this state see you as a tremendous asset to Indiana's communities. Like graduates of our state's other top tier institutions of higher learning, you are helping to drive the vitality of our workforce and the prosperity of our unique and diverse communities. But you are not only important to our economic prosperity, you, each of you, are vital to our democracy. As long ago as 1862, the United States recognized the importance of public higher education. And in that year adopted a program under which the federal government grants land to certain public institutions of higher learning to make that education both geographically and economically more accessible to students than that offered by private colleges and universities. In return for the grant of lands, these institutions then grant back to the surrounding communities an educated citizenry, critical to the effective functioning of a democracy. And let me be clear that when I speak of citizenry, 
or citizenship. I'm speaking of your civic relationship with your community, not your legal one. While legal citizenship may be conferred by birth or by application, we alone determine our civil citizenship when we engage with our local communities to apply the practical skills of citizenship, working with others to develop a shared agenda and advocating or collaborating to enact the changes that we seek. I have a son, 20 years old, who's also at a state school, a land grant institution. And he and I often have spoken about the future of our state and the impact of a civic relationship with our communities. And even in high school, he became involved in our local community to help build ties and to develop his own engagement, to learn what collaboration and a shared agenda looks like. And it is the one way, the one sure way, that a community strengthens and grows towards greatness. Like many community colleges, many Ivy Tech campuses are rooted deeply in local communities. Around Indiana, where the civic leadership and practical democratic skills each of you have to offer is greatly needed. I'm sure many, if not most, of you are primarily concerned with finding work in your field of study as you move on from Ivy Tech. And while I wish you success in that endeavor, I ask that you not forget the work of democracy. Do you know at previous points in, in their history, and to some extent even today, community colleges like Ivy Tech are known as Democracies College? It's true. In 2013, the Education Policy Analysis Archives released a special issue titled Democracies College, the American Community College in the 21st Century. In the brief, the authors describe the community college as crucial agents of democracy who support local, regional, national, and global communities by providing educational opportunity with multiple points of access for racially, ethnically, and socioeconomically diverse students. A separate article titled Democracies Colleges, The Evolution of the Community College in America, says American community colleges are much like the nation that invented them. They offer an open door to community and to opportunity to all who would come, are innovative and agile in meeting economic and workplace needs, and provide value and service to individuals and communities. So you see, you may have thought you were studying dental hygiene or diesel technology here at Ivy Tech, but it turns out you were studying democracy all along. Of course, many of you know better than anyone that the door to opportunity the author describes does not swing equally wide for all who would come. In our communities or in our democracy, Many of you have experienced that personally, either through classwork framed around issues of racial and gender equity in your own lives. The challenge of opening that door of opportunity widely, not just equally, but equitably, is the challenge with which our community and your community needs your assistance most urgently. And that's because systems of education, healthcare, criminal justice, transportation, and so on, that seem to be failing some of us are actually failing all of us. We know, for instance, that healthcare systems that do a better job of caring for the very poorest patients actually do a better job of caring for us all. High schools that implement high quality strategies to prevent students of color from dropping out actually reduce dropout rates. Efforts to address implicit bias in our criminal justice system create a fairer system for all involved, and on and on it goes. You are graduating from Ivy Tech in one of the most chaotic, challenging times our nation has witnessed since the civil rights movement in the 1960s. I'm sure this is not news to you. And while we don't need to look for, far for reasons to feel anxious about our future, I will tell you frankly that I've also found great reason for the midst of this chaos. I'm heartened that a record number, more than 160 million people, Americans, chose to exercise their right to vote in this month's election. And do you know that almost half of our country's entire population? And I was hardened earlier this year to see wildly diverse groups coming together to march across this country for a cause they cared about. No matter where you stand on a particular issue, I think it's Americans of all genocities walking to be moved, more people willing to walk arm in arm with others as we tackle the serious challenges our communities face. So if you've been thinking about your graduation from Ivy Tech, 
Um, if you think that that means that hard work is over, I hope to disabuse you of that notion because we need you. Even as you're planning your own future, I want to challenge you to think about the role that you can play in building up your community, in swinging that door of opportunity open for someone else. By all means, look back with pride at all that you have accomplished, and then look forward and outward to find a way to use your creativity, your energy, your resourcefulness to take action. Be courageous and be committed to being of service to others. The one-time politician and now author, Les Brown, has said you are either committed to mediocrity or you're committed to greatness. And I believe each of you, by completing your studies at Ivy Tech, has already demonstrated a commitment to greatness through your hard work, perseverance, and sacrifice. As you move on to the next step of your journey, I look forward to seeing how you carry out that commitment to, grace, to greatness all across Indiana. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you and congratulations. Please welcome Claire Maxson, Acting Dean of the School of Business, Logistics and Supply Chain. Hello, my name is Claire Maxson and I'm the Acting Dean for the School of Business, Logistics and Supply Chain Management. Congratulations to those earning degrees and certificates in accounting, bookkeeping, business administration, global workforce skills, human resources management, insurance, Microsoft Office specialist, entrepreneurship, supply chain management, logistics, and more. I, along with Harry Gray, accounting program chair, Nicole Bradbury, business program chair, Chris Reidner, Supply Chain Management and Logistics Program Chair, as well as your full-time and part-time faculty are very proud of you. We have all experienced dramatic change this past year. Our experiences are as diverse as each of us, but we all share the need to be safe and healthy. While a video recording isn't the norm for our commencement, we are genuinely excited to celebrate your achievement. We are very proud of you. I'm so happy to have the opportunity to celebrate your accomplishments with you. In a project reflecting on building community and support networks, a student in their first semester in my fall class shared that even though it is virtually, it feels good to be a part of this new community. It feels good because I am collectively a part of a group that wants to succeed in these trying times powerful stay true it's graduately who you are you are collectively a part of a group who has succeeded in these trying times you should be celebrated for your achievement there are always obstacles when reaching academic goals but you did not even let a pandemic deter you I am proud of your dedication and commitment to your education there are better and brighter days ahead you have shown you have what it takes to be successful no, ma no matter what obstacles come your way. This will be an experience you can look back on as an example of how you can overcome in difficult times. In an ex it's an example of seeking solutions, of trying new things, and of risking change. You have the spirit and drive needed to be successful in every area of your life. Keep setting goals and taking deliberate action to reach them. Continue believing in yourself and pushing yourself to put your best foot forward as you enter this next phase in life. I wish you the best in the pursuit of your dreams and goals. Congratulations.
And now, Dr. Rod Brown, Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs for Ivy Tech Central Indiana. Thank you, Ms. Maxson, and many thanks to the faculty and staff in the School of Business, Logistics, and Supply Chain. Greetings. I am Dr. Rod Brown, Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs for Ivy Tech Central Indiana. We take this opportunity each year to recognize those students who have excelled in their studies. Congratulations to those graduates who have been recognized as graduating either cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. Please join me in saluting these students. Phi Theta Kappa is an international honor society for two-year colleges which recognizes and encourages academic achievement. Congratulations to those who have achieved this honor. Kappa Beta Delta is a national business honor society which also recognizes academic achievement. Congratulations to those who have achieved this honor. It now gives me great pleasure to present the graduate candidates to the president and the board of trustees. Ladies and gentlemen, these candidates have fulfilled the requirements for their respective degrees and certificates, either completely or conditionally, and are recommended by the faculty of Ivy Tech Community College, Indianapolis, for the conferring of their degrees. At this time, I'd like to invite Provost Dr. Carol Monroe to confer the degrees. Now please welcome Provost Carol Monroe to confer the degrees. Exercising the authority of the State Board of Trustees, legally vested by the people of Indiana through the General Assembly and the Governor, and delegated by the trustees to the administration of Ivy Tech, and recognizing your nomination by the faculty with the approval of the administration for having successfully completed the prescribed courses of study, I now confer upon each of you the appropriate degrees and certificates with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereof. Graduates, congratulations. Thank you, Provost Monroe. I will now invite the Ivy Tech Community College graduates to receive their degrees and certificates. The names of our graduates will appear by program and degree.
Graduates, congratulations. We are so thereof. Graduates, congratulations. Thank you, Provost Monroe. I will now invite the Ivy Tech Community College graduates to receive their degrees and certificates. The names of our graduates will appear by program and degree. Graduates, congratulations. We are so proud of you. Dr. John Cowles, Vice Chancellor of Student Success, will now lead the students in the tassel turning ceremony. Please welcome Dr. John Cowles, Vice Chancellor of Student Success, who will lead the students in the tassel turning ceremony. Graduates, congratulations. We are so proud of you. Dr. John Cowles, Vice Chancellor of Student Success, will now lead the students in the tassel turning ceremony. Please welcome Dr. John Cowles, Vice Chancellor of Student Success, who will lead the students in the tassel turning ceremony. Congratulations. As a symbol of your transition from student to graduate, Please turn your tassel from right to left. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Thank you all for attending this year's commencement ceremony. I want to encourage all of you, today's graduates and all the individuals watching in our virtual audience today, to be lifelong learners. These graduates are a testament to the fact that Ivy Tech can and does change lives. Thank you for your participation in this important milestone today, and congratulations to our graduates on a job well done. As a graduate, you are now a member of the Ivy Tech Alumni Association, serving more than 500,000 alums with programs, services, communications, and resources to assist you in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for this commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2020. With that, please go forth, be safe, and celebrate with your graduate. Thank you from all of us here at Ivy Tech. This concludes the December 2020 virtual commencement ceremony. From all of us here at Ivy Tech, thank you for attending. Congratulations, graduates.